Hi, I'm AJ Marks. And I'm Megan Silicinto. And you're listening to American Idiots Abroad. Right, so um, today AJ and I are not in Liverpool as we normally are. No, no, no. No, AJ and I are in London, uh, London Town. Um, what else? What other LDN. names are there? Yeah, LDN. That's my favorite one. What else is oh, there? Landon, L-A-N. Landon, L A N. Landon! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the voice you just heard is our guest today. Um, Australian, British singer, songwriter, fashion what, icon. Fashion <laughs> icon. Her Instagram is amazing. Oh, amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, you should have, should have seen her first car. <laughs> <laughs> G'day, mate. How are ya? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Mad Wood. <laughs> or Madeline Wood. Thank you for having me, guys. Oh, my God. Thank what an you. intro. I feel so loved. <laughs> oh, you should. You should. You are loved. Oh, my God. Is this PG? Or is this like an M podcast? Mm, no, M. this is an M. 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 Okay, cool. And NC-17. <laughs> <laughs> Rated R. I was thinking, this is my... You're popping right now, my podcast cherry. This is my first <gasps> podcast. <gasps> Oh my god! I feel like we do that with a lot of people. Ooh, really? Who else have we had on? If we popped your podcast cherry, let us know. E- Message us. Email us at aiahost and at gmail.com. If you'd like us to pop your podcast cherry, <laughs> also let us know. We love popping <laughs> podcast cherries. Oh, we, and we, we have popped pl- each other's podcast cherries, though, didn't we? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's too real when it's one person doing it to another. <laughs> that's true. That's actually true. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Welcome um, to London, and it's sunny. Did you enjoy the sun today? Oh my god! It, yes. We went to Regent's Park, and it was so gorgeous. Oh, I live right near there. I'm in, Ca- I'm in Camden. No way. Yeah, <gasps> overlooking Regent's Canal. Stop. That's so- why it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we're talking about today. We are. Our topic for the day is money, money, money. Yes. Money, money. So today we're talking about money, money, money. We are talking about um, all the different things that come with it. Kind of like, okay, I was inspired to do this theme for the podcast because my friends back at home uh, don't know what like an account number and sort code are, and oh, they right, find yeah. it ridiculous that I don't have Venmo. So Venmo is. Can, um, I, can I pipe in here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know you're going to explain anyway, but what the hell <laughs> is Venmo? What's it, what, first of all, what's it sound like to you? Uh, another version of a credit card. Okay. Without the fees. What would Venmo it's, it's like a Monzo like. card. A Monzo card? I would think, it, okay, is it a credit card that anyone can get, doesn't have any fees? Um... You're like, and you're on a game show right now. You <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you can't borrow money from a bank. It's just it's just another credit card that you can take overseas oh. without any fees. No, no, but that sounds because you fun. can't take it overseas because it's only available in the U.S. Yes, <laughs> so it is an app. It's an app that you have on your phone that is attached to your bank or credit card or whatever, yeah. and and you can basically just transfer money through that. It's like it's a social media, but for money. I but don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, but it's just like it's so easy for some people, but they don't. I, I can't even download it on the app store because I have a British phone and a British <laughs> iTunes. Oh no way! You can change yeah. the location of your. iTunes. I know I can, but I'd have to change it just to get Venmo and then change. Like I'm not in the states enough to get Venmo, but I get asked like almost every day when I'm back home, so I feel like I should get it. It Just people can stop asking me. In Norway, they have Vips. Oh, it's a different app? Yeah, in Norway, they have Vips, and it's like a different app. Um, It's just like VIPPS, and it's the exact same as Venmo, apparently, because I explained it to one of my Norwegian friends what Venmo was, and she was like, oh yeah, that's just Vips. Oh. Apparently. I, went, uh, I Which wonder is how weird. many there are for, like, different countries. Yeah. So, so oh, the Monzo. Probably. You guys don't know about the Monzo. No. The bright orange card. So it's a card that you can use all around Europe, mm-hmm. and you can put money on it and use it as you would use your own um, FPOS card or credit card, and it doesn't have any international fees, <gasps> transfer fees. It's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Do you have one? Yeah. And you like one. it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nice. So you can just tap your card like you would. Oh, I don't even have... I don't have a chip, 
or the oh, well, contact list. Let's the talk card. about that. Because, yeah, um, I don't know why. <gasps> the, I even got a new one sent to me in the mail, and it was just a. It's just like the chip. Oh, yes. I want to ask who, what bank you with, but maybe that's a bit personal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and what's your number? <laughs> <laughs> and a security code. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so contact list. Contact list is like. Uh, a credit card or a debit card but instead of having to swipe or insert you just touch it normally at the top of where the screen is while you are paying you know it says like yeah and then you the amount need- and you just touch it on the screen and you don't need the pin but contactless is too easy to spend money you can just tap 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 all day yeah it's so I mean, nice. we tap 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 in all day here at American <laughs> Indian Surprise. Bombshell. The U.S. like we don't have contactless. What? Yeah, we don't. Yeah, have my it. mom asked me what it was, and she knows everything. But they have like they just got chips. <laughs> my yeah, mom, we only. My mom knows everything. She does. Thing. She's a, such an intelligent woman. Shout out to my mom. Shout, shout out to out AJ's mom. Shout out to AJ's mom. <laughs> AJ's mom. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. Uh, yeah, no, but they only just recently got chip, and for a lot of them they just like if they don't have chip they just swipe which is so ancient over here yeah no sometimes i ask if i can just swipe because like i'll i have this um american card that i can use here as well yeah swipe. so sometimes i'll swipe i haven't swiped and they're like years. they're like their mind is blown and then i have to like sign <clears throat> oh my that, gosh that further blows people's minds because i have to sign my name yeah and like so they have to go find a pen and everyone's like scrambling around for a pen and everyone else in the queue is like oh how dare I always take say an extra exactly. 10 seconds. <laughs> they, say, they say nothing. They just look at you. I say out loud so that everyone knows. I'm like, oh, sorry. It's American. And, and then you just, seem even worse. Do, do, no, but it's like, you <laughs> know. like, who is this American Do not cunt? apologize, okay? You are allowed to take all the time you want to spend your money on products that have been pushed to you. That's so, so true. That's mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. That's so and true. And also, it's the, the shop attendants. Te- what do you call shop people? <laughs> Shop uh, assistant? Shop people. I like shop people. <laughs> people at shops they, be shop people. They push you to do contact lists. Have you noticed that? Some yeah. I, I do not like to do contact lists because it takes longer to come out of your bank account. So if you're watching your pennies like oh, I do, fuck. I'm always like, yeah, cool. I've, I've got an I've got an extra bit of money, but not really because they haven't come out of my account yet. Whereas if you, if you insert your card and press the digits. It comes out instantly or quicker than contactless. While I'm on this topic of contactless, can I just say I went home to Australia a couple of weeks ago and over there they have started to charge for contactless. What? In certain stores. Yeah. Why? No. Yeah. You get charged like you would for a credit card. Does it cost more? Apparently it costs more to use a credit card or something. Does it? Where you get more fees on a credit card. They're gonna. They're doing that with contactless. Because I, I just happen to... I never read the fine print. Oh, my gosh. I, I wish I would read the fine print about other things. But this time I happened to and I saw a little sign and it said, oh, you know, we're, we're one of the shops. We're starting to add, I don't know, point whatever percentage... You know, mad. Your bank, you're the bank, the bank does. So isn't that funny though? I love the way the world works. It's not even funny, but the, the, it's like they've been priming us. Contactless, contactless. Look how easy it is. So now we've got the physical action. We're used to just tapping. So now when they start charging, we're all going to be like, oh, I can't be bothered because we're so used to just doing the tap. If Madeline Wood isn't your favorite person <laughs> by the end of this podcast, I don't know who the fuck you are. I am people. Per- I'm thinking about us humans. I'm thinking about our welfare. Oh God. That's the, it, oh my god. These though. people that come up with uh, oh, yeah, That's they don't so have our best real. interest in heart. <laughs> We're getting robbed. Yeah, it's so true. Quite though. Literally, it hasn't happened yet in the UK, so people don't freak out. But it is starting to happen in Australia. No, this might happen. Always read the fine print. Over there, you're from Melbourne, yeah. Yeah, I'm from Melbourne. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just literally repeating what you said. <laughs> you're from Melbourne, yeah, yeah, I'm from Melbourne. Well, yeah. we were hanging out with someone who's from Melbourne today. Um, yeah, we were. We were hanging out with a, a Melbourneian. Yeah, yeah, this a is different one. Yeah, which isn't like uh, you never meet Australians here. I feel. Yeah, literally, now, you guys are the only two I know, and yeah, you're the two yeah. people I'm hanging out with on the same day, and yeah, I don't see so either random. of you very often. Synchronicity, the serendipity. I don't see you often. Well. This one person that you I just that. met today, though. <laughs> I never see her. <laughs> but it, con- contact- Mindy, where are you at? Mindy. <laughs> Shout out to Mindy. Shout out Mindy. You mean six nine. <laughs> this, this girl. Right? This girl. So she has pink hair. She, she's very feminine looking. She is. She is a definite. It was from female. the back though. 
I mean, but she was wearing like short shorts because yeah. it's hot today. But she's wearing a um, rainbow flag T-shirt. We are in London. Yeah. And she has pink hair. And this guy, this like kid, comes up to her and is like, "Can I have a photo?" And she's like, "What?" And he's like, "Can I have a photo?" He's six nine, and she's like, "What?" And he's like, "You're six nine, right?" And she, she's like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a Mexican I'm, man. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm an Australian woman. He, this this little. Like twelve year old kid thought that she was rapper six nine. Oh my gosh! How hilarious is that? So funny. So we're gonna take a quick break, but while we do, you are going to be listening to Madeline's new song, "Follow." We are so much better. We are one together. American Idiots Abroad. So what was that song about? Okay, so Follow is a collaboration with Royce and Tan. Shout out to Royce and Tan over in Canada. It's about trying to be a positive influence um, and spread a positive message, pretty much, in a nutshell. There we go. That is like you in a nutshell. I know, but with a massive twist of pop. So you're singing along. There we go. You don't even know that you're singing along to such positive, amazing lyrics. Oh, we love it. (laughs) We love it. Also... I want to talk about the money size here in Britain Mm. because in the States they're all the same size and they all look the same. And I love all the same size. No, I hate that. I think it's, no, it's, it's really, I I think that it's really, really good for uh, people who are like visually impaired. Well, that's why they do it here. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that's amazing. I think that we need to do that in the U S and they have braille on them too. Oh wow. They have braille on the money here. Yeah. Fuck. You never noticed. No. Show me the money. Show me the money. Here. Here we go. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Ta-da. He's pulling out his wallet, guys. <gasps> Fuck. That's and amazing. I love it how it's plastic now. Can we hear this? Yeah, it's plastic. In Australia, we've been on that game since Dodge, okay? Since day Dodge. <laughs> since day well, okay, Dodge. Well, maybe not. But, but I love it's all that about phrase. the plastic. How long have you been... Using oh gosh, I don't know. Australia. Don't ask me like things that I should know. Should I know that? <laughs> <laughs> but plastic money, you can jump in a swimming pool with money in mm-hmm. your pockets. It's gonna be fine. Oh you can gosh. accidentally keep it in the in your pants pocket and your wash your yes, yeah. yes. pants. That is such a big problem. It's monopoly for me. money. Um, people used to make fun of us for it, but um, now everyone else is catching on, aren't they? British people will tell me that our money looks like American money looks like monopoly money, and I was like, yeah, what? I'm like that makes it's not, no sense. It makes, they're like it's all the same size. That's what makes you think it looks like monopoly money, not like the colors. Like, like, I'm like, the colors make them all look like Monopoly money. Yeah. What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. It makes no they sense. Just, they just want to tear no... into us for being American. They do. They do. They... We love it here, but... We love it here. We love the people here. But I like my money. <laughs> I like the American money. I do. I I, I prefer British I prefer money. my money. I know why they do it here. I know why they do the different sizes. I know why they do the Braille. I know the why they do the plastic. The plastic is amazing. The plastic's the best part. But... I don't mind the plastic. But they're not vegan. They're not vegan. They're not vegan. Okay. I mean, they might be now, but they're not vegan, the money here. For a while, they weren't. Oh, my God. I'm so going to okay Google that later to yeah. see if the Australian... Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm vegan. I'm going to stop... I know. A I'm reason sorry. to stop using money. It's not <laughs> vegan. Why over here, the two-pound coin is bigger than the one-pound coin? In Australia, it's the other way around. Right. So... That doesn't make any sense, though, that it would be, though. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I, I guess that's what I'm used to. I'm used to the two-pound just being a little, little fella. But I do not get what they, what they do over here, how they have the 2P coin. So anyone who's listening, right, I'm just going to brief you on all the terms we're going to use. So um, P is an abbreviation for pence. Pence is the same as cents. Pence is just the plural of penny. Like, Americans will have names for all of the coins. And so, like, penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Mm. Uh, whereas uh, British people, everything is a penny. And that's why when you have change, it's pence. Because pence oh, is the plural of pennies. Fuck. I've never even thought about that. We have those like terminologies, so we don't say like, "Oh, I, I just need ten cents." 
I mean, we do. No, yeah. we totally do. Yeah. But they just don't but have the, the little nicknames for it here. Yeah, like you, like if you have a 10p coin here, you can't call it a dime. No. No. People won't know what you're talking about. And we'll get into pennies later, oh, but I just don't understand. Or let's get into it now, That's a actually. podcast on its own. Oh, my gosh. That <laughs> is a podcast on its own. Don't even give me that change. I don't want it. Go into any Britain home, and everyone has a jar or a jug That's or so an true. old paint bucket full of pennies. I Nobody have, wants pennies. For my boyfriend's one, birthday, I bought him a penny jar. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, like, nobody wants pennies. They should have got rid of them years ago. They, they cost more to make than they actually are worth. That's, So yeah. it makes no sense. So um, why? Why, I, I guys? Why? But, like, so so I just don't get how, like, there is a 2P coin and it's, like, one of the largest because it's just, like, taking up size of my wallet and also... Uh, I just, I like, prefer they're so having random. 2P, though, because you're never going to have, like... So, you know, you, like... In the U.S., if you get, like, a handful of coins, sometimes you'll come with, like, loads of pennies. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, in this country, if you get a handful of coins, often it'll be consolidated, like, so efficiently that, like, you'll only need maybe, like, one two pence coin or, like, one penny coin as or, like, a combination of those as opposed to, like, sometimes in the U.S. you'll get, like, seven cents back. And, like, they'll only have pennies left or whatever, and it's just, like... Wow. You, or, like, you get two things instead of one thing. Yeah, but I just think <laughs> introducing more pennies is not helping anyone. So I put my... The card in the back of my phone, and that's it. And I go out, and I either tap or I bring notes. I just... If someone gives me change, i am give it to homeless or give it... Or drop it. If i got pockets, I'll pocket them. If not, I'll tip someone. Mm. I just don't like carrying around stuff. I'm not a handbag girl. Mm. Not, not a wallet person. Well, as you're talking about, like, pocketing change, right... That's a big thing that I have an issue with. I don't like how much more change there is. So with the one pound coin, Mm -hmm. I'm like, it should just be a one dollar bill. Because, and hear me out, the argument for British people is like, you feel like you have a lot more money than you actually do when you have, when you have a bill that's like a one dollar bill. But I beg to differ. They have them in Jersey. They work perfectly fine. They they're have not, them in Jersey. Yeah, and they, they're not legal here. Should we ask? Um, should we ask the listeners? Do you want to vote in a one pound note or with a one pound coin? I'm yeah. going with the coin. I like the coin. I like the note, and it's or, or the or the bill or whatever. Is because it only, because it's, it's so much. It's so much. It's no. It's not because I'm used to it, right? It's just that it's like it's much lighter. It's much easier to carry around if you're used to having it there, then you don't have the issue of you think you have so much more money than you actually have. Oh, That's not an issue. Note, yeah. Because I only use notes. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to change my vote. Yeah. Like, why would... Like, you're just... Because it's, it's just heavier and you're carrying it around more and it's that, co- probably costs a lot more to make. You can't make it rain with coins. You, you, you um, can't. How are strippers going to survive? <laughs> they, not people like out. People throwing fives at them? Like, I don't... I haven't been to a strip club, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Also, the difference between note and bill. So okay. here they say note, um, and in the states they say bill. Quid is the equivalent of bucks in the U.S. So like we would say five dollars is five bucks. So here five pounds is five quid. And in yeah. Australia we just say dollars. But I like I like it. I think it's really cute when people say squids. squids. So do I. How I think cute it's really is that? Cute. How come you've both heard people say squids Ten and squids. I've never heard someone say it? <laughs> I love it though. It's something like your auntie says. Or it's so like, cute. And it makes it doesn't make you think of like little sweet like beep, beep, beep. One thing that I love here is when you walk into a restaurant, whatever price it says, that's what you're paying. I cannot I, I cannot that. express enough how they include tax yes. when they show it when they show it on the board or when they show it anywhere where the price would be or when they tell anywhere, you the price is something. Actually, for anything. They yeah, they include the tax in <clears> there. Or it's at the bottom of the bill. They say, we are adding this much VAT. We are adding... Yep. So you, and, you know if you need to tip or not. Normally, yeah. you don't need to. Yeah, oh, you don't normally My tip. family, when they came over here just recently... I they never kept, They asked at every single restaurant we went. They were like, do we need to tip? Do we need to tip? Would we tip here? Would it be weird to tip here? And I'm like, yes, it would be weird. How it works out is they are paid enough to not need your tips. Yeah. They're, they're, they're paid their own salary. Tips is just an extra thing. Whereas in the States, they live off the tip. I, I've noticed they don't come over to the table so As often. Much. You just flag them if you need something. But they only come, okay, what are your drinks? What are your food? Here's the bill. Yeah, and then sometimes they'll be like, are you okay? 
Maybe like once. Yeah, maybe so, yeah. maybe once, but in, in, in the States they do it like maybe every ten minutes. Yeah. But in I Australia say, the the waiter or the waitress literally sits at the table with you. Another thing that is so great about money, I've noticed a lot more commonly here that they won't try to trick you with the four ninety nine thing. And they'll just yeah. say five pounds. Yeah. That's just annoying. Shops, it's so annoying. In Australia we only got to Five, so it's the five cent is our lowest. Yeah. So it can be like ten ninety five or four ninety five, but none of this one, two, three. Like, oh, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. Oh, why is yeah. that? Is it like a law, or is it just what people do? It's that's all we got. Oh, <laughs> five, love five is the lowest. Yeah. Do you not have five pennies? Cent, five, no. You don't have pennies? No, no pennies. Wait, what? Yeah. What? You have no Guys. pennies. That's why you're so upset about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's why you don't like coins. Five ninety five, ten ninety five. It rolls off the tongue better. America, s- get on this. Yes. Steven Mnuchin, <laughs> I'm expecting to hear from you. <laughs> Treasury Secretary. <laughs> I didn't know you didn't know that. I was wondering why you asked me, is that the law or is it just Yeah, no, I had do? no idea. Oh, that's, that's all we got. Crazy. <laughs> no issues. Love it. Oh my God. Okay, we gotta get on that then. Thanks, guys. This has been fun. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for being on here. And- so Madeline, where can people find you? Madeline Wood official. You know what? You can just Google Madeline Wood. I'm the first thing that oh, pops up. Yeah, Madeline Wood. Just it Google comes it. Up. Just Google it. And it's spelled like made I line. It's the French way with three E's. M A D E L E I N E. Should we go out on a different song of yours? Absolutely. How about let's do the Kylie Minogue cover oh fun yes. which song love at first sight right. love at first sight right. yes so this is love at first sight by madeline wood originally by kylie minogue yes <laughs> see ya bye, bye. bye. i like how we waved <laughs> yeah. yeah we just waved at the mic <laughs> <laughs>